family, welcome on. Welcome, welcome everybody. Give me one sec, let me move my computer. Just making a post on Facebook. Letting everybody know that I'm live. Great to have you guys on. Let me turn this up. Thanks for the hearts. For those of you that are just joining, go ahead and let me know where you're calling in from or calling in from. Listen to me, you sound like I'm doing a conference call. Let me know where you guys are at. Thanks for the heart so early on, I appreciate it. And if you swipe to the left, I think when you have Southern California, awesome. Toronto, Jersey, welcome. Um, if you swipe to the left, you can actually share this. We're gonna be talking with your followers. Honolulu, aloha. I love saying aloha, by the way. I hear Brandy say it 4,000 times a day, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So anyway, if you swipe to the left, and hi, um, you can actually share this with your followers. I'm going to be talking about what is the difference between a net wish marketer and a net work marketer. I'm actually just making a post to let people know that I'm live on Periscope. To the right, okay, to the right. I don't know why, mine's to the left. To the le oh yeah, but I guess it would be to the right to you guys. See, I don't even know my left and my right. Anybody can be successful in network marketing, you guys. So welcome on, today I had a pretty crazy day. So I have all new respect for women that have more than one child because, um, yeah, I'm funny, right? So hi, Dr. Sarah, welcome. So um, I actually watched my 10-month-old niece today with my four-year-old daughter. You probably heard Jake and the Neverland Pirates in the background. And I was trying to do three-way phone calls. I was also trying to get some emails together and still do prospecting at the same time. And let me just tell you, multitasking to the T, I did it. I am a superwoman, but I have an all-new respect for mothers trying to run a business because I have one. I don't have multiple, so I have a whole new respect for women with more than one child. You are rock stars and deserve like 45 medals and should rank like 500 times faster than everybody else because, oh my gosh, amen, right? Hi, Don, right? Oh my gosh. So anyway um that was my day today i did a little bit of an earlier periscope and if you guys like anything that i share tap the screen that gives love we love love i give love back um giving love is fabulous and if whoever gives the most hearts i always go back and follow back i always give tons of hearts because i love it green red purple i love it thanks you guys so let's talk a little bit about the difference between net wish marketing and network marketing so I will, I'm um, gonna be authentic with you guys. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. Um, when I first joined network marketing, I was a network marketer for the first like month, and then I turned into a net wish marketer. So this is in 2012 when I first joined network marketing. So why, what happened? Well, I was really excited. I had all the passion that I needed to have. Thanks, Sandy, for inviting everybody. Queen No Free Design, welcome. The Randy Rogers, welcome. Welcome, you guys. You can let me know where you're calling in from as I'm talking. So, um, the first month, I was off to an amazing start. I was so excited. I was calling people about my opportunity. I was, you know, picking the phone and calling about my product at the time that I had. I was on fire. But the problem was, is that once that drizzled out that excitement and once I got more than like 10 no's I started to sit back and I enrolled probably like 15 people my first 30 days it was awesome it was super exciting so I ranked up quickly um aloha hi Sloan I love you um everybody go follow Sloan she's amazing and she she does some amazing periscopes so anyway so um yeah, I would enroll all these people and I was just waiting for them to go do the same thing that I did. So I was net wish marketing. I was wishing and hoping that they were gonna do something and I remember I would stare at my phone, waiting for it to ring, like okay, maybe somebody will call me if they need me. Then I was like staring at my volume, hitting refresh, 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 waiting for people to come in. I was not doing the work that was needed to be done in order to 
push up. So I was blaming network marketing for a long time. I was blaming that company when in the end I wasn't working like I should have towards my dreams. So think about that for a second. Where are you at in your business right now? Okay. Are you wishing that your team would do better? Are you wishing that your rock stars who you know can be amazing rock stars, oh my battery, um, wishing that could be amazing rock stars would just do something? Are you wishing for your volume to go up? Are you wishing to hit that ne next rank advancements? Are you wishing to make 10,000, 50,000, or $100,000 a month? Or are you working? towards helping your distributors to push you up to the next rank, to push them up to the next rank? Are you working to get more prospects? Are you working as hard as you're wishing? So I was reading, you know, I always read like too many books at one time because I, I'm, I'm ADD. We all know this already, right? Tap the screen if you're ADD with me. Go ahead, let me see some ADD people. Tap the screen, nobody's tapping. Tap the screen, show me who's ADD. So anyway, so awesome. So, um, so I was reading a book and it was talking about how you can't wait and wish for something to happen. You know, think about anything. Think about all the athletes, how amazing they are that are in the Olympics or that are, you know, in the NFL or the NBA. They can't wish themselves to becoming these amazing athletes. No, they had to work their you know what's off to make sure that they they became stronger where they were weak. I'm always reading and listening to two or three books. Okay, good. I'm not the only one. Pound it. That's awesome. Good. So yeah, you can grab information from all over. Listen, however you guys have to work to kind of keep your brain going and keep learning, it all works, right? So no worries. So if you think about all the hard work that these athletes have put in where they're strengthening where they're weak, right? And their strengths they're even getting better in and they're excelling in. They're learning more and more on how they can become better players or better in the Olympics. They study their opponents or they study the other teams, right? So they can get better, so they can learn different techniques or learn different ways to do things. So it's the same thing with network marketing. So. I'm a six figure earner in network marketing now. High five, right? That's so awesome, it's so exciting. But what happens if I just wish for my team to push me to the next rank? Just because I'm a six figure earner doesn't mean my work is done. So the same thing goes for you guys. If you are not where you wanna be, your work is not done. I'm not where I wanna be yet. So I have to continue to push and to push through all the obstacles and all of those things that hold you back, that hold me back, because we still have those fears sometimes um, of talking to new prospects or going back to those family members that have shot you down for every you know opportunity you've, you've exposed to them. Listen, I have those family members, you guys. I'm still getting over those fears myself. I'm, I'm figuring out a way to project the way I really feel about this company onto other people. So working hard and making that decision to work hard and not to get stuck being a net wish marketer will help you to catapult forward. So think about the people that are in your group that maybe you've been wishing they would just do something. How many times do we hear, you know, I just wish that Jane would just, you know, have some in-home meetings. I just wish that Jane would see the potential that I see in her. I just wish Jane would go to convention. Well, how about you work on figuring out how to inspire and encourage your team and this, I'm speaking from what I had to, to do to myself and retrain my brain in the past 90 days, you guys. So this is not me telling you what to do. This is how I speak about things that I've gone through and things that I've kind of overcome, okay? Let me get comfortable here. So instead of wishing that your team would be at their full potential, work towards you, me, being my full potential, so then I can show and be that example to my team what it takes to be where I am and where I want to go. So there's plenty of people in our company that have outranked us that are at a completely different level. And what am I doing? I'm mimicking them. I'm following them. I'm on their periscopes. I'm on their training calls. I'm doing what they did so I can get there. I'm working hard so I can be the person that they are. I, I look up to them. I want to be just like them. So I have to work at that. And, you know, the first thing that I did was as I wrote down things that I think I needed to change about myself, 
not change necessarily, but work on things that maybe I was weak at when it came to business, life, relationships, team training, team building. And then I went to my upline and I said, hey, these are the things I think I need to work on. Do you think that I need to work on these things or do you, need to, do you think I need to work on something else? So that was the start for me to figure out where I can work on myself, the work marketer, network marketing, right? So the second you stop working on yourself is the second your team is gonna stop working on themselves, which means you're gonna flatline and your business isn't gonna grow. So why would we wanna flatline? Who wants to flatline? I don't wanna flatline, I wanna grow. I wanna get bigger and I want my team to grow and get bigger with me. So the more that you wish for your team and for your company and for yourself, the less work is actually going on. So here's a good example, Facebook. Facebook are for wishers, and this is why I say this. Facebook can be used, so, so can social media, for work, but it also can be used for wishing. How many times have I, because I'm just gonna speak from experience, I sat back and I just read the news feed and I liked posts and I made a little comment here and there, and maybe I spent, oh gosh, who knows, if you add up the time, it was probably five hours a day on Facebook alone of just getting caught up in other drama, getting caught up in other people's things, other people's lives, and I'm not concentrating on mine. I'm, want, I'm wishing for my life to get better. I'm wishing for that success, but I'm over here spending time listening to Joe Schmo from Alamo and how he cut his finger or how he went to the beach. What is that doing for my business? Nothing. So with social media, make sure you're acting as a network marketer. Make sure you're not wishing that social media people are just gonna fly into your lap. And just by posting about your company 24 seven, people are gonna fly into your lap. There's a system. I'm sure your company has a system just like ours does. Our system is amazing. And we have step one, step two, step three, step four for social media that we stick to because we don't wanna one, ruin our databases, and two, we don't want to just post about our company every single day, every single day, and then you don't wanna get caught up in thinking that's how your business is gonna grow. So get your hands dirty. You wanna make sure, hi, welcome, hi Kiyomi. Welcome guys, so excited to have you guys on. So um, get down and dirty, and that's something that I have committed to redoing in my group is getting down and dirty. I'm going to get my hands dirty as much as I can. I'm going to do as many in-home meetings that I can commit myself to. I'm gonna enroll again all over again like I need to, and I'm gonna to commit to my personally enrolled people that I'm gonna help them get to where they need to be. I'm also gonna work on myself as much as I can to get better um, speaking. I'm gonna be speaking at convention, so I have a fear of that, of speaking in front of that many people, because here, I can't really see you guys. So. I have a fear of it and, and I get that anxiety and I get those butterflies in my stomach and I'm learning how to let that fuel me instead of letting that paralyze me. So working on yourself is gonna help you flourish in so many areas, more than just your business, also with relationships. So tap the screen if you liked what I shared. I'm so excited that you guys joined me today. Um, just wanted to share a little bit. And again, shout out to all the moms that have more than one baby in the house and are trying to run a network marketing company or are doing it. You guys rock. Um, high five to the million mom movement that we have going on as well. And I am so excited to see all of you at convention. And thanks for joining me. Remember, be a network marketer, not a net wish marketer, you guys. Talk soon.